Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shirvim Madayo, again here with another informative video related to the electronics, MATLAB and the multi-sim simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the full wave bridge rectifier on the MATLAB and the multi-sim software. So before doing this experiment, let's discuss some few points regarding the full wave bridge rectifier. So the rectification is the process of the conversion of the AC signal into the pulsating DC signal. The need for a center tape transformer is eliminated in the bridge rectifier. It contains the four diodes, the D1, D2, D3 and D4 connected to form a bridge. The AC supply to be rectified is applied to the diagonally opposite ends of the bridge through the transformer. Between the other ends of the bridge, the load resistor is connected. During the positive half cycle of the secondary voltage, the end P of the secondary becomes positive and end Q becomes negative. This makes diode D1 and D3 are the forward bias while D2 and D4 are reverse bias. Therefore, only D1 and D3 conducts the current. During the negative half cycle of the secondary voltage, the end P of the secondary winding of the transformer becomes negative and end Q of the secondary winding of the transformer becomes positive. This makes diode D2 and D4 are the forward bias while D1 and D3 are the reverse bias. Therefore, only D2 and D4 conducts the current. So, these two diodes will be in series through the load resistor. Therefore, DC output voltage is obtained across the load resistor. So, dear viewers, without wasting time, let's do the simulation of the full wave bridge rectifier on the MATLAB and the multi-sim software. Dear viewers, our main objective is to implement this full wave bridge rectifier circuit diagram on the MATLAB and the multi-sim software. The need for our center tape transformer is eliminated in the case of the bridge rectifier. Okay, so this is the advantage of the full wave bridge rectifier circuit. Now, it contains the four diodes, the D1, D2, D3 and the D4 connected to form a bridge as shown in this diagram of the full wave bridge rectifier. Now, the purpose of this transformer in this circuit is to provide the isolation between this power circuit and this converter circuit. And also, it is used to step down the level of the voltage. Okay. The AC supply is to be rectified, is applied to the diagonally opposite ends of the bridge through with the help of this transformer. Between the other ends of the bridge, as you can see, the load resistor is connected. So this is the input sinusoidal voltage waveform so that it is given to this full wave bridge rectifier circuit. And this is the rectified DC output voltage so that can be obtained across this load resistor. During the positive half cycle of the secondary transformer voltage, now the end P of this secondary winding of the transformer becomes positive and the end Q of the secondary winding of the transformer becomes negative. This makes the diode D1 and D3 are the forward bias, okay, and while D2 and the D4 are said to be the reverse bias. So, therefore, only D1 and D3 diodes conducts the current. The while the D2 and the D4 diodes does not conduct the current. So the two diodes as you can see in this diagram the D3 and the D1 will be in the series with this load resistor as shown in this figure. The conventional current flow is shown by these dotted arrows. It may be seen that the current flows through this A to B through this load resistor. During the negative half cycle of the secondary voltage, now this end P is becomes negative and end Q of the secondary winding of the transformer becomes positive. This makes the diode D2 and the D4 are the forward bias while D1 and D3 are the reverse bias. So therefore, only the D2 and the D4 diodes conducts the current while D1 and D3 diodes does not conduct the current. So the two diodes as you can see in this diagram will be in series through this load resistor as shown in this figure. The current flow is shown in this figure by these solid arrows. It may be seen that the current flows from the A to the B through this load resistor is in the same direction 
as for the positive half cycle of the AC input supply voltage. So therefore, at the end, the DC output voltage is obtained across the load resistor. Okay, so dear viewers, we have to implement this circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. So go to the power library. Okay. So now we need the AC voltage source. Okay. Break the AC voltage source. We need the load resistor. Okay. We need the transformer. And also we need the diode. Okay. Also we need the ground. Okay. Also we need the voltage measurement. Okay. Also we need the display. Also, we need the scope, oscilloscope, and also we need the root mean square value block. Okay. So, assemble the circuit as per the circuit diagram of the full wave bridge rectifier. Okay. So, now this is a three winding transformer. Make it two winding. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now, connect this AC voltage source to this winding one of the transformer so that can be called as the primary winding of the transformer okay and uh, connect the ground with the negative terminal of the ac voltage so now if you want to measure the voltage across the primary winding of the transformer so connect the voltmeter in parallel across the primary winding of the transformer so this display uh, would give us the primary voltage okay primary voltage okay make it load resistor as r okay and then now in this bridge rectifier circuit we need the four diodes okay so we need four diodes So now connect these diodes, okay, to make a bridge rectifier, okay. Also, connect the load resistor, okay, with the bridge rectifier circuit, okay. Also, we need another voltmeter okay so this is the oscilloscope make it two port okay make it two number of the port okay so now connect the secondary winding of the transformer with the bridge rectifier circuit okay okay so connect the voltmeter across the load resistor so this voltmeter would give us the dc rectified voltage which is to be obtained across this load resistor in the case of the full wave bridge rectifier circuit okay now so connect this uh, voltmeter which is connected across this load resistor with the second port of the oscilloscope now this second port of the oscilloscope would give us the uh, rectified dc voltage in the case of the full wave bridge rectifier circuit and the first port of this oscilloscope uh, would give us the input sinusoidal voltage waveform so now change the parameters of the circuit diagram so 5a power 3 parent power 50 hertz frequency Winding one four forty volts, winding two two twenty volts. Okay, apply. Okay, and supply voltage four forty volts, frequency fifty hertz, and make it the frequency of the RMS value block fifty hertz. Okay, 
now this is the diode d1 okay this is diode d2 okay this is diode d3 and this is diode d4 okay now set the value of the load resistor 100 ohm okay so now our circuit is ready for the simulation run the simulation and observe the input and output voltage waveform with the help of this oscilloscope okay so now you can see this yellow waveform is the input sinusoidal waveform and this blue waveform is the rectified dc output voltage waveform that is to be obtained across the load resistor in the case of the full wave bridge rectifier now during the positive off cycle of the ac supply voltage the diode d1 and d3 are the forward bias while d2 and d4 are the reverse bias so therefore the d1 and d3 are conducting the current while d2 and d4 does not during the negative off cycle of the ac input supply voltage the diode d2 and the d4 are the forward bias while d1 and d3 are the reverse bias so therefore the d2 and the d4 are conducting the current while d1 and d3 are not conducting the current in the case of the negative off cycle of the ac supply voltage so dear viewers this was the simulation of the full wave bridge rectifier that we have done on the matlab software so now implement this full wave bridge rectifier circuit diagram on the multi sim software go to the multi sim we need the ac voltage source okay and we need the ground we need the transformer go to the basic transformer ts power 10 to 1 okay and also we need the resistor okay and we need the full wave bridge rectifier so this one is the full wave bridge rectifier okay so now assemble the circuit as per the circuit diagram so now connect the ac voltage source with the winding one of the transformer so that can be called as the primary winding so now connect the ground with the negative terminal of the ac voltage source okay also we need another ground okay now connect the full wave bridge rectifier with the secondary winding of the transformer Now connect the load resistor. With the full wave bridge rectifier. Okay. If we want to measure the voltage across the primary winding of the transformer. So connect the voltmeter in parallel. across the primary winding of the transformer so this would give us the primary voltage okay make it ac so now we need the oscilloscope to observe the input and output voltage waveforms so now there are the two channels of this oscilloscope now connect the channel a of the oscilloscope before the diode so this channel a would give us the input sinusoidal voltage waveform okay now connect the channel b of the oscilloscope after the diode so this would give us the rectified dc output voltage which is to be obtained across this load resistor okay now change the color of the b channel make it yellow okay apply okay so that we can easily observe the waveforms with the help of this channel b oscilloscope so now change the parameters 50 hertz frequency okay 100 ohm load resistance so now our circuit is ready for the simulation run the simulation and observe the results of the input and output waveforms with the help of this oscilloscope so these are the results of the input and output waveforms of the full wave bridge rectifier so now you can see 
this red waveform is the input sinusoidal voltage waveform and this yellow waveform is the rectified DC output voltage waveform which is to be obtained across this load resistor. So now during the positive off cycle of the AC supply voltage, now the diode D1 and D3 are the forward bias while D2 and D4 are the reverse bias. Therefore, the D1 and D3 are conducting the current during the positive off cycle of the AC input supply voltage. During the negative off cycle of the AC input supply voltage, the diode D2 and D4 are the forward bias while D1 and D3 are the reverse bias. So therefore, the diode D2 and D4 are conducting the current during the negative off cycle of the AC supply voltage. So dear viewers, this was the simulation of the full wave bridge rectifier that we have done on the multi-sim software. Dear viewers, this was the experiment regarding the full wave bridge rectifier that we have done on the MATLAB and the multi-sim software in which we have observed the results of the input and output waveforms using oscilloscope before and after the full wave bridge rectification. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last, do subscribe my YouTube channel Shoebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the electronics and the electrical engineering area. Thank you.